What's up everybody, it's boy Z-Man here to bring you part 35 of our let's play of Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves in the last part. We helped Bentley and Penelope steal back the map of the Dimitri treasure. And now we're going to look into Thief Nets and realize the only thing I can buy right now is Berserker Charge. But we're about to head out to sea and we're going to get tons of money from it. Believe me, so much money can be made from the sea if you just spend the time doing it. I probably won't spend the time doing it, but even if I don't spend the time doing it, it we're, we're going to make tons of money. Um, so we're about to head out. Uh, this is a Murray and Sly combination mission where um, I get attacked by a giant dog. Fatso, the lard cannon dude. He hasn't shot me yet. That's always a good thing. And once we take him out, we're actually going to be able to begin our mission for once. Kind of freaking need it, too. Alright, we're going to be setting sail in a very tiny boat and rowing it so that Sly can shoot down rudders. Okay, Murray, I need you and Sly to blast the rudders off all the galleons in port. When their boats disabled, the pirates won't be able to chase after us when we sail for Dagger Island. What about those boats out there at anchor? They look ripe for a breaking. Don't worry about it. The pirates won't have time to row out and get the rig before we're gone. Besides, once you start shooting at those rudders, the harbor patrol is sure to show up. That sounds like a job for a man of my many destructive habits. You said it. Take out the harbor patrol, and there will be no one left to chase after us when we appropriate a pirate boat. It looks like Sly's done unlocking the jolly boat. Good luck, sailor. The jolly boat is down. And why do they call it the jolly boat? Because you have a jolly good old time destroying other boats with it. Okay, boys. If that makes any sense at all. Hold down the R1 button to charge the shot and shoot farther. Let go when you want to fire. Now we're going to be shot at by random buoys that apparently are very, very good. Uh, shooting the boat is actually a little bit different than what you're probably used to. Uh, you have to hold down to charge, and charging improves the distance that the shot goes. Um, so we're going to be hit by a lot of these cannonballs because I really don't want to dodge, basically. But once we get, once we take out both of the buoy cannons, oh damn it, I almost got hit. Once we take out all these early buoys, we should be able to get a clean run at the rudders. We have to destroy four rudders at first, but there, I believe this is a three-stage mission? I think so, three stages that are required. First one, obviously, taking off the rudders, which we need to take down one more. This one's guarded by four. Great. All right, we need to quickly get out of the way. Just stick and move. It's like a game of boxing. A game of boxing. It's like a boxing match. Just stick and move. That's the key to not getting hit. Also, knowing when to stop firing. Destroyed all those. Let's get that last rudder, and all the ships are disabled. You guys are doing great, but it's time to bump it up a notch. The harbor patrol has arrived. They look pretty well armored. Is this cannon gonna cut it? You're right, Sly. Murray needs to ram them with your jolly boat to knock off the armor. All right! I'm tired of dodging cannonballs. Time to crack some skulls, jolly boat style. Once Murray has knocked off the armor, you'll need to sink him with a well-placed cannonball. Run in fear, Harbor Patrol sissies! I'm gonna ram you into next week! Yeah! All right, so it's Murray's fantasy right now because we're going to start ramming clear. the crap out of He's these Ready to shoot. Uh, out of these Harbor Patrol the boats gone. in order to take out their armor. Once their armor is down, we should be able to get a good shot at them. Come on. Shot okay, I, did, I, did I not take out the armor on them? I did not take out the armor on this thing, did I? I, sh I thought I hit him. I hit him. That's bullcrap. Okay, let's go try something else. Let's get a bit of a running start at this guy. Hit him. Nice. The and gone. this guy should be able to take out that one. Five more to go. After I ram each one, or I didn't need to ram. I apparently rammed that one already. I did. I guess I did ram a bunch of these already. It's a good thing. And our boat doesn't go down. I saw that coming the moment I said it. 
Dang. All right, we got to start this all over again. Zero boats. No armor taken off. Let's, let's do this a little bit smarter this time, where I take out the armor and fire at the same time. That's probably the better way to do this. And plus, not running into the cannon fire helps. I don't think I got that armor off. Get, damn, I'm not getting enough of a running start at some of these guys here. I'm going to take out this guy's armor. Should be easy. I've got plenty of a running start. Beautiful. He's down. One down. Two down. Oh, two down. Four more to go. So that guy's down. Let's get a good shot in. There we go. He's down. Three. Halfway done. Then I believe there's one last uh, section, one last stage, basically, where it's going to be fun. It's only going to get tougher. We're not going to be fighting jolly boats anymore. I'm impressed that these guys are fighting us with a two-man jolly boat versus one-man jolly boats. they got to fire and row at the same time. Plus, they're not Murray, so their rowing sucks. The team of excellence, Murray and his faithful gunner Sly, kick butt yet again. Uh, sorry guys, I wasn't aware the Harbor Patrol had a cutter. You're not done yet. Gads, yeah, that thing is massive. Everything has a weak point. Just look at the mast. They've been patching it up for a while now. Sly's right. That mast will fall before our combined mightitude. No matter how many cannons they bring to bear, we will bear it. Not to sound like a wimp, but I vote we dodge their cannonballs. Or we can dodge. That works too. <laughs> yeah, Murray don't want to dodge no cannonballs. Alright, we're gonna head out and take on this cutter. This cutter has the distinct honor of having a crap ton of cannons that it's gonna be able to fire at us. While we only have the one, and that one's got to focus on taking out the mast. If you can take out the mast of a ship in this game, you win. Now it's going to take three shots. Is it three shots? I can't tell if that's three or four. Three shots in order to uh, take out the mast. As you can see, each time we get a shot on the mast, one of its supports goes down. Maybe it's four shots. If I can get another shot in on it. No, it's going to be. It takes four shots. Four shots to take out the mast. I'm sorry, my algebra and geometry and ge ge geographical skills, not great, not great, I, I, okay, I do know a little bit about geography, not a ton, come on, take out that, damn, I need one more, it was five, I lied, apparently it was five, or six, I'm, maybe I'm not even hitting on a few of these, come on, I should have this, I'm very close, I'm very close, I'm pretty sure I didn't hit on these last couple. I'm too busy trying to avoid the damn cannon. That one did not hit. I'm not for sure. Too busy trying to avoid these damn cannonballs. I got like freaking three cannons firing at me. There we go. We took it down. Finally. Team Excellence does it again. Nice shooting, sidekick. Hey, we would have been sunk without your rowing. When you guys are done making out, I'll see you back at the safe house. See. <laughs> Bentley made a gay joke. Come on, Bentley, that's homophobic, dude. Alright, let's head back to the safe house so that we can begin what shall be known as the great pirate journey of Sly 3. I love this level specifically. Like, literally only four. Well, not only four, but mostly four. The pirate ship battles. They're so awesome. Oh, there's a reason they worked in Assassin's Creed 3. There's a reason they work here, too. Let's go ahead and head inside. I don't know what it is. Fighting pirate ships always seems to work. Apparently, Sly has to start this mission. So let's go ahead and head out as Sly. And where are we going to start this at? Up there at the highest point of the entire thing. Get down. Stay down, dog. No, stay down, dog. Seriously, dude, I don't want to deal with you. Okay, that's the part where he dodges. And now I'm a lot lower than I want to be, and I'm going to smoke bomb, and I'm going to keep saying, and I'm going to for additional dramatic effect. How do I get up? There we go. I was about to say, where, where am I going here? I need to get up somehow. I think I can make this. Good job, Sly. And now, let us begin the mission. Okay, Sly, time for the main event. I've been looking forward to this. Every thief dreams of one day stealing a pirate ship. I don't know what it is, but it's like a total rite of passage. 
This is gonna be great. As you'll be the first on board, you might want to keep your enthusiasm quiet. If the Night Watch detects you, this whole place is going to get lit up with guards. The rest of the team won't stand a chance. Come on, pal. This is me you're talking to. I'm like a fourth degree black belt at this kind of stuff. Murray will meet you at the Jolly Boat, but remember, keep it quiet. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's jolly boat our way over. We have a little bit of a stealth mission to go through before we have to actually sail the boat. Sailing the boat is actually done pretty well uh, for what it is. They could have taken the Looks long like way the and, you know, set it up so that you have to sail a boat from a first-person view. You're actually sailing a boat and fighting ships like that, but no. I get it, Bentley. I'm supposed to whisper really loudly. Jeez. So apparently that's how you keep it quiet. Damn it, Bentley. I know how to be quiet. I'm a freaking master thief. I have this silent obliteration takedown. That's how that's how silent and awesome I am. Oh my goodness, this guy has these guys have things in their pockets. This is like a glorious day. What is this? A medium necklace worth not that much. And and wait for it as soon as I can get over to uh, Lumbering Larry over here. Oh, this guy didn't have anything in his pocket. I thought he had something in his pocket. I lied. Okay, guys, the coast is clear. Come on up. Roger. I'll start rowing people over. Okay, the rest of the gang is below deck. Let's fire this puppy up. Once we raise the sails and get underway, it won't be long before someone on shore raises an alarm. No problem. We wasted that harbor patrol. The coast is clear. You guys did a great job, but they still have cannons mounted up in Skull Keep. I figure it's long odds they get gun crews into position before we're out of range, but it's worth mentioning. Then let's make full sail for the mouth of the harbor. If you guys are ready, I say we do it now. Every second we dilly-dally just puts us at more risk. Agreed. Murray, take up the anchor. Bentley, get down below deck and adjust the ballast. I'll hoist the sails and get this thing moving. Okay, Sly, you're in command. Sailing is easy. Hold down on the L2 button to turn left and the R2 button to turn right. Yep, that's how easy it is. All you have to do, L2 and R2 turns the ship when you're in this third-person view. However, we're also going to be going through a top-down view of a map, which I think is brilliantly done. That was a bad idea, Sly. Everyone's sure to be awake now. Sorry, sorry, Murray. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. And now they're coming for us. Oh, good. We're out of range anyway. And we've made it to open water. Let us commence top-down sailing. It It's the same idea. We just, from a top-down view, kind of... We can look at the C chart and try to figure out where we're supposed to go by pressing the L2 and the R2 buttons to turn our ship. Um, the C chart does a great job of showing you where you're heading, which direction you're heading, and randomly out in the middle of the ocean there are going to be these chests full of either money or health, as well as other ships that we're going to have to deal with. However, right now we don't have to deal with ships. Not yet. I missed the treasure. Crap. Come about, we cannot leave the treasure behind. No. Damn boat. Okay, whatever. We're I guess we're leaving the treasure behind. Oh my goodness, there's two treasures. That is so awesome. I love multiple treasures. Now if you get close to land, I believe you start going slower. So you do want to watch out for that. Let's leave that treasure behind. We don't need it. But we're heading for the X, as you can tell. X marks the spot. Of Cantank not Cantankerous, Tim Black Spot Pete's stolen treasure in Dimitri's grandfather's scuba gear. You know, it makes sense. Oh my goodness, I'm off mark. Let's go up this way instead. Whew. This isn't the best part, okay? Sailing is not great. It's the battles themselves. You're the captain. Turn our Which we're starting now. The yes, there's a very the small bit of strategy involved in this. But pressing the O button on one side of the ship fires the cannons. And I missed with all those. Son of a crapper. The key is to make sure you are not in range of their cannons while sticking, um, sticking to, what am I trying to say? 
getting getting your cannons in range to fire if you fire from in front of them like directly in front instead of a broadside you do more damage like so it took me like four cannonballs to take out this guy's mast of course once you uh, take out the mast you can either jump aboard or you can just shoot it one more time if you shoot it one more time the uh, the ship goes down if you decide to jump over like I'm failed to do crap let's come around if you decide to go over again you have to just defeat the captain of the ship in order to steal his treasure it's actually not a terrible system and for every ship you take down and for every piece of loot you steal you gain extra money let's make the jump over how did I fail that jump that is baloney like to the maximum level seriously sly learn how to jump my friend all right let's try to do this one more time you know what screw it I'm just gonna shoot him down. screw you dog go down probably can't even swim all right, we should be at about the next marks of the spot. Very nice. There we go. I don't know what the loading time is for. You've got the map, Sly. Select it as a power up and read its clues to find the treasure. I believe the first clue is stand before the statue's gaze to begin your walk along the treasure's maze. So yeah, we're going to have to follow a treasure map in actually a fairly creative way. I did enjoy the way they put this together. Um, but we're going to do that next time. So, thank you all very much for watching, guys. I'll see all of you guys next time.